Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. Have you ever had to put a fire out? Just a small one. It was when I was working on a dry cargo vessel three years ago. The motorman left a cigarette burning in the mess room while he went to get a coffee. But then he was called away to deal with the problem in the engine room. So he forgot about his cigarette and the fire broke out. Luckily, the fire wasn't too bad and we had it put out quickly. We were really lucky that no one was hurt. So, how many days can you survive for in a life raft? Well, I guess the maximum is about 30 days. As many as that? I thought it was only about 15, sir. Well, there was a recent case where the crew from a Chinese vessel survived for 50 days adrift, but they were lucky as it rained for about 15 days, so they were able to collect the rainwater. Sir, how many days can you survive for in a life raft? Well, I guess the maximum is about 30 days. As many as that? I thought it was only about 15, sir. Well, there was a recent case where the crew from a Chinese vessel survived for 50 days adrift, but they were lucky as it rained for about 15 days, so they were able to collect the rainwater. So does your wife work then, Valeri? Yeah, in a factory. What kind of factory? Clothes, you know. They make suits, uniforms, and that kind of thing. Oh, how long has she done that for? Not so long. She used to work in a leather factory, but the chemicals made her sick. But she trained as a teacher, so she hopes to find a job teaching children. So, what system operates on this ship? It's four hours on, then eight hours off. It's a lot safer that way and we're well rested. So, we have three watches, right? Yes, we have watches Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. On my last ship, it was six hours on and six hours off. You must have found that incredibly tiring. Well, believe it or not, I'd actually prefer four hours on and four hours off if I had the chance. You are kidding. Well, I suffer from insomnia and never sleep more than four hours in any case. So it suits me, to be honest. You know, I've had diarrhoea for a couple of days now. Actually, my stomach hasn't been too good either. Did you have the roast chicken yesterday? Um, no, I didn't. So, it probably isn't that then. Do you know if the rest of the crew have had any problems? I'm not aware of any, but I'll ask around. Do you think it might be the new cook? If you ask me, I don't think he washes his hands enough. Yes, I've been thinking the same thing myself. His nails didn't look very clean yesterday. I think I'll go and inspect the galley. When your plane gets in next Monday, a representative from our shipping agency will be there to meet you. He'll be holding up a sign. Look, that's not good enough. The last time I flew into Moscow, there were literally hundreds of agents holding up signs. It was impossible to find the agent. It took me an hour and a half to get through immigration. And I don't think he was even there when I finally reached arrivals. In the end, I had to get myself across Moscow in a taxi. How do I know the same thing won't happen again? OK, what about if I describe him to you? It's still not good enough when there are so many people. OK, what about if I tell him to wait next to the money exchange rather than with the rest of the agents? Yes, that sounds a better arrangement.
bearing off for 5 degrees distance to point or nautical miles from Rainis Lighthouse. I have located you on my radar screen. Uh, stand by on VHF channel 10. If you do not hear from me in one minute time, navigational assistance is ended. In that case, go back to channel 71 and call Glasgow VTS. Navigational assistance starts at 0920 local time. Bearing off for 5 degrees distance to point or nautical miles from Rainis Lighthouse. I've located you on my radar screen. Uh, stand by on VHF channel 10. If you do not hear from me in one minute time, navigational assistance is ended. In that case, go back to channel 71 and call Glasgow VTS. Navigational assistance starts at 0920 local time. Have you ever been involved in a rescue operation? Not personally, but one ship I worked on had to rescue some people. I was a third officer at the time and was keeping watch in the morning when I spotted a floating object. What? A small life raft or something? No, actually it was a capsized yacht with 14 people standing on top. I called the master immediately and we altered coast. But it could have been a boat with pirates. Well, we could see they weren't armed and there were women with them. So we picked them up on a rescue boat and later transferred them to a South African Coast Guard vessel. I just want to remind those of you who are new to this ship or company about a few things. Uh, probably the most important thing, as far as you're concerned, is your pay and your banking arrangements. It's really important that you let us know if there are any changes, such as a changed account number, or uh, if you want to have it paid into a different account. Recently, a few crew members didn't get their salary on time because they'd forgotten to inform us that they'd changed banks. We do need to be kept up to date concerning any changes. <coughs> Captain, I'm sorry, but... I don't feel well. I've got a temperature and a sore throat and a cough. Yesterday I was working on the deck in the rain and the wind was freezing. My watch starts in an hour, but I don't think I'll be able to do it because I, I just can't concentrate. I've just got to lie down. Okay, you better go to your cabin. Have you got any medicine? Yes, I've already taken some. Thanks, Captain. <coughs> Hopefully I'll be okay tomorrow. So you've already had your induction tour, and today you need to make sure you have read through all the important safety procedures. Then tomorrow, We'll make sure you've got all the relevant extra PPE you need. And then, hopefully, in a couple of days, we'll be able to get you started on some painting once you've had your toolbox talk. So, you've already had your induction tour, and today you need to make sure you have read through all the important safety procedures. Then tomorrow... We'll make sure you've got all the relevant extra PPE you need. And then, hopefully, in a couple of days, we'll be able to get you started on some painting once you've had your toolbox talk. You know, move as in... his culture it means a woman will never get married yeah there are some interesting superstitions aren't there the fifth engineer was worried a few weeks ago as he said he could hear bells ringing which apparently means someone will die so i told him that's just because he spent too many years working in the engine room and he's got hearing problems someone told me it's bad luck if you see sharks following the fezzel it is if you fall overboard and some believe killing a seagull will bring bad luck. That one certainly has. 
It's had a shit on my arm. <laughs> well, some cultures believe that will bring you good luck. You know, yesterday I was sitting at the corner of a table and one of the ratings told me to move as in his culture it means a woman will never get married. Yeah, there are some interesting superstitions, aren't there? That airport is a complete nightmare. It's impossible to spot the agent as there are hundreds of them holding signs all in a huge crowd together. Is it the same one who met me last time? Bald and dangerous looking. No, he's left now. You need to look for someone with a grey moustache and glasses. Well, he should be easy to spot. Don't you believe it? Most of the agents seem to have beards and moustaches than now. So are you growing a moustache or a beard? No, but my hair's quite long now. I can wear it in a ponytail. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya. Probably Mombasa. So, is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yeah, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania, then we'll hand him over to the authorities. Can you tell me where the second engineer's cabin is? I've got a message for him. Yes, if you go up the stairs and turn right, it's the second door on the left. And is there a gym and somewhere I can do my washing? Yes, if you go up the stairs and go straight on, you'll see the gym at the end of the corridor. And if you go down the stairs, the washing machines are at the bottom of the stairs. You'll see a door just under the stairs. Okay, thanks. How old is this vessel? Who's fallen overboard? What does that safety sign mean? What does that safety sign mean? What's wrong? Do we need to replace this with a new valve? That cargo was loaded on 31st of March. The length of this vessel is 1,420 feet.
The length of this vessel is 1,420 feet. The temperature in this engine room is 38.9 degrees centigrade. The temperature in this engine room is 38.9 degrees centigrade. This vessel was built in the year 2005. The vessel on fire is 215 miles off the South African coast.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you want to say thank you for the creator, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video for you.